muscle fatigue and injury. Muscle fatigue is an inevitable consequence of physical exertion. As muscles contract and exert force, they consume energy and generate waste products, leading to a sensation of fatigue and decreased performance. Can we use what we learned about fascia to help us in reducing muscle fatigue? In this video, we will be exploring the possibilities. How muscle fatigue occurs? Muscle fatigue occurs when the energy demands of exercise exceed the body's ability to supply energy to the muscles. It can manifest as a decrease in strength, power, and endurance, impacting an athlete's performance. What happens in muscles during fatigue? But what exactly happens within the muscles when fatigue sets in? To understand this, we must delve deeper into the intricate network of tissues that comprise the musculoskeletal system. At the heart of muscle functions lies a dense network of connected tissue known as fascia. This fibrous matrix surrounds and penetrates muscle fibers, providing structural support and transmitting forces generated during movement. People who are not aware of fascia believe muscle works alone. However, recent studies have shown fascia integration plays a role in how the muscular force is transmitted to the bone. Also, the properties of fascia determines if the muscular contraction is optimal. Muscle contractions relies on several minerals and ions, including calcium, sodium, potassium, magnesium, phosphate, and chloride. When a nerve signal stimulates a muscle fiber, calcium ions are released from storage, triggering a cascade of events that lead to muscle contraction. These calcium ions bind to proteins in the muscle cells, allowing myosin to interact with actin, pulling them closer together. This process requires energy derived from ATP, which is hydrolyzed to release the necessary energy for muscle contraction. Sodium and potassium ions are involved in generating the electrical impulses that initiate muscle contraction while magnesium and chloride ions help regulate cellular processes essential for muscle function. Together, these minerals and ions orchestrate the intricate process of muscle contraction. In fascia, the deepest layer is known as endomysium. These smallest components of muscle-connected tissue, a thin layer of connected tissue that encapsulates each individual muscle fiber and muscle cells. It contains capillaries and veins overlying the muscle fiber cell membrane. This thin layer helps provide the appropriate environment for the exchange of calcium, sodium, and potassium, which are essential minerals for the excitation and subsequent contraction of muscle fiber. If the environment is damaged or disrupted, there will be potential issues that will influence the muscle tissue. Fascia itself does not experience fatigue in the same way that muscles do. Fascia is a connected tissue that provides structural support and facilitates movement by surrounding muscles, organs, and other structures in the body. While it doesn't tire like muscles, it can become tight, stiff, or restricted due to factors as poor posture, repetitive movements, or injury. When muscles become fatigued, fascia helps distribute forces more evenly, reducing the risk of injury and preserving joint integrity. What you can do to test this is by doing squats with one time your body weight. Try to squat as many times as you can, as to grass, and focus on your quads muscles. Write down a number of how many reps you can do. After sufficient rest, try to do it again, and now this time focus on your glutes and slightly rotate your glutes forward. See how many you can do and what you feel in the glutes. If you are doing more and feeling less fatigued, bingo. You have successfully utilized your fascial connection to support the movement. At Hyperarc Fascial Training, we don't stop here. We want you to be able to utilize this type of fascial connection more holistically.
subconsciously and automatically when you run, jump, and kick a ball. To do this, start with the basic three HFT exercises to help build up the fascial connection from the feet to the glutes. These are the basic three exercises you can do along with HFT fascia rolling, fascia tensegrity strength, and the ability.